Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send Slack notifications for new Discord channel message. So imagine this, you are using Discord to receive feedbacks from your customers about your products. So the idea is that once a feedback arrives in Discord, you want to share it with your team members on Slack. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy the message from Discord, sort it out and manually send as a notification on Slack. Now the problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a message is sent on Discord, automatically send a notification on Slack. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Discord and Slack. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so basically this is my Discord account and here I'm going to send a message. So imagine this a customer is sending the feedback of a product. So the feedback is the rotors are not functioning. Okay, so this is the feedback given by the customer. A poor feedback indeed. And let me just press enter. Okay, so the message has been sent. The rotors are not functioning. Now the idea is that we will be getting a message on Slack so that my team members can start working on it. So let me just uh, refresh this. Okay, so as you can see, we have got the message, the rotors are not functioning. So basically, this is the whole process. You send a message or you receive a message from a customer on Discord. It will be reflected as a notification on Slack. Now, to begin the actual integration process, uh, let me just type pabli.com in my browser pabli.com it is so your obvious question is why pabli.com well we have an app called as pabli connect that will integrate discord and slack so let me just click on sign in okay so when we click on sign in you will see the dashboard so this is my dashboard and as you can see i already have made an account in pabli connect you can also build your own free account in just two minutes so let me just scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow. Now before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, I already have integrated Discord and Slack. Now uh, the problem is if we are going to create a new workflow and this old workflow will be running in parallel to it, it will create the problem of duplication of results. So basically the same message will be repeated twice. So to avoid that, I have switched off this workflow okay so basically now i have switched off this workflow and we are going to create a new workflow from scratch so the name of the workflow is discord to slack of course you can give any name according to your discretion discord to slack and let me just click on create okay so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so basically we are going to create a new workflow now, if you directly want to access this workflow, you can clone the template of this workflow using the link which I have shared in the description box. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Discord because we want to send the data from Discord. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new message posted to channel. New message posted to channel is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new message is posted into my channel, then what action should be taken by the system? Now we do have only one trigger event that is new message posted to a channel. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, just go to this help section, click here and uh, clicking on help section will lead you to Pabli forums. So basically you can just make a request here that you want so and so triggers. Okay, so let me just take you back to Pabli connect and let me just click on connect. In the new credentials, let me just click on connect with Discord. Okay, so now there is something you have to know. Now, uh, the problem with the, there is some issue with Discord these days. And the issue is that uh, once you have uh, worked on a server and uh, you have done sending the message and if you are going to create a new server and if you don't want the, that old server, you actually have to delete the old server. Now, the server I'm using was ping server. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new server but before that let me just delete this old server. So I'm just going to delete this old server, ping server it is. 
okay and let me just go here click on server setting and I'm going to delete the server okay ping server and I'm going to uh, create a new server okay so let me just create a new server and the name of the server is let's say how about violet server so we are giving the names of the color violet server and let me just click on create okay so a new server called as violet server has been created so what i'm going to do here is i'm just uh, taking back to public connect and let me just click on connect with discord okay so let it uh, roll give it one or two seconds okay okay so here we are going to select the server and we have the violet server we have selected it and we are just going to click on continue okay and let me just click on authorize okay so now it is going to give me the authorization but before that let me just assure them that of course i'm not a robot i'm a human okay excellent i think they have accepted it okay the authorization is successful easy so the authorization is successful and at present it is showing me a channel so these are all the channels that is present in my slack account i mean sorry discord account so for your consideration i am actually going to create a new channel okay so let it load just give it one or two seconds Okay, so in the text channel, we are going to create a new channel. So the name of the channel will be, let's say, Slack channel, because we will be sending the message. Or how about product review channel, product feedback channel, because the feedbacks are coming from customers. Okay, feedback, customer product feedback. That would look much better. Customer product feedback. I'm sorry. Customer. Let me just type it once again customer product review done so let me just click on create okay so a new channel called as customer product review has been created now what i'm going to do here is next i'm just taking back to public connect and i'm going to refresh this so the idea is that once you refresh this you can find the newly created channel in the drop down so yes the newly created channel is customer product review we have selected it and when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created message i repeat again when i click on save and send test request it will send the data of the recently created message now in our case there is no recently created message because this is a newly created channel but uh, since you are interested let me just show you what will be the response okay so as you can see there is no response because we haven't created any message at this point so for your consideration i'm going to send a first message so this message is from a customer the customer is saying the the batteries are not working okay so this is the message the batteries are not working let me just press enter okay so the message has been sent and let me just go to public connect and let me just click on save and send test request so when i click on save and send test request this time it will show some response so let me do that let me just show you yes we have got the message the batteries are not working so basically we will be sending this particular message on slack okay so to do that let me just click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so here we just type slap slack i mean not slap slack and here we will find a send channel message without image okay so send channel message without image is an action event there are of course many more action events like create channel invite users to a channel send private channel message and so on all of them are a bunch of action events now in case if you want more action events just go to public forums and just make a request that you want so and so action event so let me just click on connect okay in the new credentials let me just click on connect with slack okay so it is showing it is demanding access actually so before you click on allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay so it is showing the authorization successful excellent just press okay 
So when you click OK, you will find a set of blanks in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to compose a message in Slack from the data that we have received from Discord via Public Connect. So by default, it is showing the channel that is general. So I'm keeping it the channel as general. Now in the message type, let's keep it as plain text. As far as the message is concerned, so we are going to map in the message. So this is the message. Okay, so this is the message. The batteries are not working. And then we have the bot name. So I'm going to manually enter the bot name. So my name is Mark. So we will be sending the message as Mark. And in the bot icon, okay, we don't want any bot icon. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request. So let me do that. Okay, so the API response is showing the message has been sent. So let's have a look. Okay, yes, we do have the message from Mark. The batteries are not working. Excellent. So the presence of this message shows that we have successfully integrated Discord and Slack with help of Public Connect. Now, before you leave, let me just take you to Public Connect and let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So basically, I've minimized the trigger window and the action window. So this, basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrate a trigger to Public Connect, Discord to Public Connect. That's basically your trigger. And then you have integrated Public Connect to Slack. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Discord and Slack. Excellent.